most of the looking and feeling your best at any age channel just stopping by with what I hope is a quick tip I'm sorry some of my previous videos have been a lot more chatty which is really who I am I'm a very chatty um, I was going to say girl, but I guess middle-aged woman since I'm 51, but, um, you know, I'm hoping that it's good information mixed in with a little blabbing. But anyway, um, the purpose of this video is to, again, talk about looking and feeling your best at any age, and as I've said, I'm 51, so the struggle is real um, in terms of working out, you know, trying to eat right, because if you don't work out and eat right, you know, I see where, you know, the weight just starts to creep up, even in this dress that I bought um, when I was in Vegas on my 50th birthday um, celebration, and so I wound up buying this, and I already see, you know, like a little fat, you know, it's trying to, um, to... Um, creep up right here like because this came from the junior's department um, and I don't know when I'm gonna let that fantasy go um, but a lot of times I forget that I'm not 25 you know and I have to say slow your roll and sometimes my husband doesn't help because he actually likes this kind of stuff so anyway what I'm sharing today is how like when you travel you could be on the lookout for different kinds of outfits to help you look and feel your best like I said um, you know I felt just a little extra you know poundage here and as I've mentioned this in the previous videos as well I'm working to lose weight before I go on a trip and for me it's just changing um, my eating habits especially after dinner um, because I was eating the Inamin chocolate covered donuts a little bit too much the um, Keebler spudge covered graham crackers as well as little Debbie's it would have been okay if I was just eating one but you know sometimes I eat two sometimes the donuts I eat three I mean they're just so delicious so I'm not really the person to have that kind of stuff in the house and I used to not be the kind of person to keep that stuff in the house however when my kids went off to college um, you know, I just kind of spaz. I hit 50. So I was showing out a little bit. Praise the Lord, I've still been exercising, which is why it hasn't led to complete devastation. But I'm not where I want to be. But praise the Lord, I'm not where I could be. So um, it, it's good to pay attention to how things are fitting and to know what's going on. Like, I don't get on the scale, but I do, you know, feel what's trying to go on here. So I'm doing something about that. But anyway, um, this is a dress that I got from, like I said, Vegas. Um, believe it or not, on the main strip they have a Ross a Marshalls and I think a TJ Maxx if not a TJ Maxx they have a second Marshalls so I got this dress um, from the junior section of Ross um, for probably about $19 or something it might have been $18.99 I know that it wasn't more than $20 so I actually love it and it's kind of neat because it has like the back out you know, and it has like a little tool to let it flow out. And like I said, my husband eats this kind of stuff up because it shows off the legs, which is the thing that got his attention in the first place. And so the shoes I'm wearing are by Uggs, if you can believe it. Um, it's an espadrille that is just a, a staple of my wardrobe because they're so comfortable. And a lot of people mention, oh, how are you wearing heels? You know, my feet don't like heels. You know, I have plantar fasciitis. But believe it or not, um, what, as I battle over the years plantar fasciitis as well as plantar fasciosis because of all the time I put in on the treadmill, um, and I like to walk you know, outside as well. Um, believe it or not, these are the best shoes for problems like that, like wearing flats. You know, it puts a lot of weight on your heels, but this distributes the weight a lot better. And the podiatrist that I go to, because I get orthotics or whatever, all sorts of things like that, um, in order to keep me active, um, he thinks that these are great shoes, you know, to wear um, because it does absorb some of the shock that's hitting your heel normally. So um, that's what I'm wearing today, you know, hanging out with my son, running some errands. I'm still trying to be youthful, even though he's going to be 23 in um, November, and he's graduating college. So, but anyway, um, the other thing that I got while I was in um, Vegas, I think, you know what, I think this might have been Marshall's, the junior department, and this, I think, was at Ross, and it's by um, Maggie London. Um, and it's a size smaller than I normally wear, but I had to get it. And um, it actually fits pretty nicely. Surprisingly, um, when I wear it backwards, um, it's actually more flattering. And it's actually cute, you know, for church or casual. And so I got this for, you know, probably around 20 bucks as well. Um, no more than $21.99 at the max. So that's a great buy that I got. And one other thing 
that I got from, um, I think it was Ross. Um, believe it or not, these shoes, well, someone told me I should be closer with the item. I think you could see that, right? You know, that it was a, you know, just a nice dress, but I'll get closer for the shoes. Um, I got these Skechers yoga foam shoes um, from, and I'm looking in the mirror behind to make sure I have it angled right. Um, but anyway, these are by Skechers, believe it or not. And look, they have rhinestone, um, you know, rhinestones on the, whatever you call these, the straps. And so they are very shock absorbing. They actually have a layer. Um, you know at the top that kind of just makes your feet feel really good and these are shoes I could walk for miles in believe it or not these are shoes I can walk for miles in too um, You know especially when I go to New York or places where I'm going to be walking for hours These are the go-to shoes more so than even sneakers, but the Skechers yoga foam I think I got them um, less than $30 definitely and not only are they cute let's say if I were on vacation you know in the evenings if I was just lounging around I would take these off and I'd put these on and so they're cute but they're also comfortable so who knew like a person who went to Vegas like because I don't drink I don't gamble um, if I do gamble I might spend you know maybe $10 or something um, just for fun for other people but um, I do like to shop and so if you are going to different places it would be a good thing for you just to peek into the discount stores and see the types of things that are available. However, that doesn't always work um, as well as these two or three items did. I was in Kittery, Maine not too long ago and I was at the polo store and I found these bell-bottom jeans and they fit perfectly. Um, however, when I got home, I tried on a number of different shoes. Even though when I was a little girl, people were wearing bell-bottoms, I don't recall what shoes they were wearing and how they got them to look good because like these shoes, they don't look good with them. And they were, these pants were originally like $129. It marked them down to $79.99 and I got 25% off. And um, also, I don't think they, charge taxes in Kittery? I'm not sure, but they were at a deal. However, they're just not a winner, and so I'm going to take them back. You know, at this um, stage of the game, things have to be absolutely wonderful, or I don't keep them, because like the romper, that's the other thing that I didn't show you that I got. Um, I got that in um, Vegas, but that was maybe the year before when I was there with my cousin. Um, the romper just wasn't flattering. It was okay. It worked out well for a picture that's on my website, but um, or also um, a picture that I took in Vegas with my husband, but it's just not a long-term winner. And especially as you get older, you want to wear things that make you look your absolute best, or at least make you feel your absolute best. You know, you may think you're looking great, and other people are like, eh. You know, and like you might be thinking, eh, for the stress, but I actually feel very good um, in this, and I'm looking forward to be bopping in it. So that's the secret or the tip that I wanted to share. Um, just always be on the lookout for inexpensive, well, you know, you could be rich, you could be Oprah or something, um, but like, I'm not rich. And even if I were rich, I would still be tempted to go into Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross um, to see what kind of deals I might get. And also Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack because you can find deals there, especially on shoes. So that's all I got. Started to venture into the Chetty um, area, but I'm going to wrap things up because I got to go. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Looking forward to sharing more tips on looking and feeling your best at any age. Also, be sure to visit my website, which is www.yourbestatanyage.com. Until then, thanks so much. Have a good one.